everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we're making another Miraculous Ladybug doll custom. So if you've been to my channel recently, you'll know that I've been making a lot of doll customs using these marionette dolls. They are so much fun to make and I really enjoy making them. I've made quite a lot of hero dolls, so if you haven't checked them out yet, make sure to check them out after this video. Recently, my latest dolls have been the villains. So over here I have Anti-Bug and we also have Lady Wi-Fi. And today I want to make one more villain before we go back to the heroes. And so I have Rena Rouge here, or Marinette as Rena Rouge, and we are going to turn her into Hawk Moth. What do you think? This is going to be a challenge because Hawk Moth doesn't wear a mask, instead he has a helmet. So I'm going to attempt to make a helmet here for Marinette, and um, hopefully it'll turn out well. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and start by making the mask or make the helmet for Hawk Moth. And I'm going to be using Sugru, which is a moldable glue. Usually for my customs, I use clay, but clay does crack and will break if you flex it. And I want this helmet to be removable. Sugru is more of a rubber, and so there is a little bit of flexibility to it. And so I'm going to be using Sugru, and we're essentially going to have this mask here to reveal her eyes and then create and put the sugru all the way around her head. And I also want her pigtails to come out because I still want to see that it's marinette underneath. So since sugru sticks to plastic, what I'm going to do is wrap her head first in some saran wrap. So if the sugru sticks to it, it's okay. We can just uh, leave it on there. So I'm going to wrap this around her hair to protect her face, making sure that the sugru does not get permanently stuck to it. And I'm going to try to wrap it tight around her face. And there's her eyes. Okay. So we've got all her hair covered, and I'm thinking the helmet will probably come all the way down to where her hair tie is. And we're going to put her mask on like this, and then we're going to just stick the screw glue all the way around. So I am going to use some fast grab tacky glue, and we're going to put it on the back side of the mask. Like marinette here, and we're going to mash this mask on her, and we're going to give it a few minutes to dry. So while the glue is drying, let's go ahead and get our screw glue. And as you can see here, you actually don't get a lot. So I'm thinking we might need two or three pieces of sugru. Right, let's go ahead and roll it out and just see. Okay, so let's see how much we can cover with just one piece. As you can see, not the entire head. So we're going to need two pieces. Get our second piece out. Hopefully we won't need three because sugru is a little bit on the pricey side. And I don't want to use a whole bunch of them just for one doll. Okay, so this is pretty thin. Let's go ahead and wrap this around her head. And we're going to use her mask as a guide. I'm going to cut it right here. And we also need to build this front portion. Let's trim the mouth area. Okay, good, I didn't miss. All right, so the helmet is done. And oh my goodness, she looks a little funny. And um, Hawk Moth has a more narrow head, so that's why his helmet is more elliptical. But since Ladybug here has her hair still, she her helmet is turning out a bit more round. So it looks, I think it looks okay. It looks a little scary, but I think that's all right since she is a villain or Hawk Moth is a villain and um, it's supposed to look scary. And so I am actually kind of leaving this section open here so that it's easier to put the helmet on and also um, allows for some room to stretch to put it over her head. So now I'm going to wait 24 hours for the Sugru to cure. Next, we're going to cut out Hawk Moth's lapel. His jacket has a triangular shaped lapel that comes up and over his shoulders, so it's pretty long. And I wanted to use clay for this, so I'm going to be using Leather Effect Clay. 
This one is an overbake clay, but it's flexible. So the piece I'm going to be using is this black one, and it came in this kit. It was on sale for like a few dollars, so I figured might as well. So we're going to be using the black one, and we are going to cut out this triangular shape piece of um, kind of a V and put it on her chest. Once the clay has been cured, as you can see, it's still a little bit flexible. You don't want to bend it too much or it will still break, but for the most part, you can kind of flex it a little bit. And um, I think this is better than regular clay. So what we're going to do is essentially glue that onto Ladybug right around here. But before we do that, we are going to paint the entire body a dark purple color. And we're going to be using an oil-based paint pen to do this. Alright everyone, so it's been a day and the Sugru has cured. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So I'm going to unwrap her hair first since I think part of the Sugru is going to be stuck on the plastic wrap here. And then just take it off. Oh my goodness, look at this. And oh, you know what? Actually, it peels off. So I can peel the plastic wrap off, which is better because it'll be a lot cleaner this way. Oh, there it is. All right, everyone. So here is what the helmet looks like, made from Sugru, and as you can see here it's still flexible so that makes it a lot easier to take on and off okay, so I'm gonna be able to put over her face again just need to move her hair to the side okay so now the next thing we want to do is paint it you're going to paint his helmet gray here we're going to draw the little moth symbol Okay, now let's finish her outfit. So we have her lapel here. As you can see, after it's cured, it is still a little bit flexible. And we're gonna stick it on with some super glue. With black ink, we're gonna draw in the suit. And in here, let's attempt to put a miraculous brooch right here. All right, everyone, so Lady Wi-Fi and Anti-Bug are here. They are ready to meet Hawk Moth. Are you ready? So here she is. Look at this. Oh my goodness. 
I think this turned out really, really nice. I wasn't sure if Marinette would look good as Hawk Moth, but I think she looks really good in this suit. So let's go ahead and put on this helmet here. And there we go. Oh my goodness, look at this. Super, super cool. So here's an up close look at the head. So you can see her eyes back there and also her mouth. You can see the outline of the moth here on the mask. Here in the back, we have it cut short so that we can have her pigtails out. So this way you still know that it is Marinette. Over here is the suit with the long lapel. We can see the miraculous right there. And the suit is purple with a drawn in front, we have black gloves and black shoes. And there she is standing between Lady Wi-Fi and Antibug. All right, everyone, so what do you think? Do you like my version of Hawk Moth? If you do, give this video a big thumbs up. And now we're gonna go back to making more heroes. So if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we're doing another Miraculous Ladybug doll custom. So today we have Bonix and we're going to transform her into our first villain. So I want to turn her into Lady Wi-Fi, who I think is one of the coolest villains in Miraculous Ladybug. And the reason why we have Bunnix here is because Lady Wi-Fi's arms and feet are white and so is Bunnix. In this way we save a step by not having to paint the arms and feet. So are you ready? Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be using some paint pens. These are oil-based paint pens and they work really, really well for these dolls. They give them a nice shiny look afterwards and they're really easy to color with. For reference, here is my Lady Wi-Fi action figure. As you can see, she is much smaller and she's also purple. However, for our doll, we're going to color her black because that's the color she's supposed to be. Down here on the calves, we're going to draw three black lines. And I'm going to be using a piece of tape here to help guide my line. This way we can make sure that the lines for the two legs match. Here is the second line. And now we're going to do the third line. Next, on the arms, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw three black lines. Over here on the chest, we're going to draw the Wi-Fi symbol. We're just going to do the white for now. We'll add the black later. And over here around her stomach, we're going to put a placeholder here with white. This is her belt. It looks kind of like an on button. All right, now we can go ahead and paint the rest of the doll black.
Let's go ahead and finish her belt here. Now we're gonna add the lines on her chest. And finally, let's go ahead and color her mask. It's going to be simply all black. Alright everyone, so we are done and I can't wait for you to see her. So here she is. Take a look. Here is Marinette dressed up as Lady Wi-Fi. Oh my goodness, doesn't she look amazing? I just love, love, love this outfit. So here is an up close look. There is the Wi-Fi symbol, there is her little on button, her arms and her legs down here at the calves are white with stripes on them. And of course we need to give her her mask. So let's go ahead and put this mask on and turn her into Lady Wi-Fi. Take a look, what do you think? I think we need to make more villains because as much as I love the heroes, I think the villains are just as amazing. Alright everyone, so let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my lady Wi-Fi and also what other villains should I be making next. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye! And welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're doing another Miraculous Ladybug Marinette Custom. So if you've been to my channel recently, you'll know that I've been doing a lot of these customs. And they're so much fun. And as you can see, I've been displaying these dolls inside their original canisters. So these canisters are really awesome. They are clear so you can really see your dolls inside. And they don't get dusty. So today I have Rena Rouge here, or rather Marinette as Rena Rouge, and we are going to turn her into a villain. So my last custom was also a villain, and as you can see, I made Lady Wi-Fi. Today we are going to make another one. We are going to make Anti-Bug. So Anti-Bug was also a villain from Season 1, and I really like her because she is essentially the opposite of Ladybug. So where Ladybug is red, she is black, and where Ladybug is black, her dots, Anti-Bug's dots are red. So I think this will be a really easy custom. So here are my paint markers. I have black and red, and let's get started. Alright everyone, so the black portion is done. Here is Marinette covered in just black and she looks really, really good. So the next thing that we need to do is add the red spots. However, I've learned that with these paint pens, if you put one color over another one, it tends to kind of mix together. So the red is just going to turn into a blackish red, which I don't want. I do want a bright red dot. 
So what I'm going to do this time is cover the doll in a layer of Mod Podge. This way we're putting a layer between the red and the black and hopefully the red will not mix with the black. So I'm going to go ahead and do this outside and let her dry. Alright everyone, so I just sprayed her and as you can see, it did not go as planned. So for her arms and legs, it seems to be okay. However, on her torso, the spray kind of started to melt away the black, revealing the white underneath. So I'm not really sure what happened. In the back, it's still okay. But there's just something wrong with the torso area. So I'm going to let it fully dry and paint it over again with black and try again. So the Mod Podge has now dried, so as you can see, this paint has kind of just melted off, but only on the white section. The black over the orange is still good, it's just this white portion. So what I'm going to do is paint over it again with my paint pen and redo this section. So this time, instead of using the aerosol, I'm going to brush on the Mod Podge. And the one I'm going to be using is this Mod Podge Ultra. But the only thing I'm worried about is that this is actually matte. So I'm not sure if this will ruin the shine of the paint. But let's give it a try. Now over the Mod Podge, we're going to add the red dots. And as you can see, the paint is now matte because of the Mod Podge. So I might need to go over it again with the paint. And I am seeing the red disappear into the black. It is very dark and very hard to see the red. But we're going to go ahead and paint on the red and maybe give it a few coats. So right now I'm using a dotting tool. What I did was express the paint out and then once I had a puddle of paint, I'm just dipping it with this tool and now I can dip it onto her body. And as you can see, we're creating these large round puddles. And there's a lot of paint there, so it's going to take a long time to dry. Also, there is the risk of the paint kind of dripping away or flowing away from its spot. But we can always fix this with the black paint. Alright everyone, and we're done. I think Lady Wi-Fi is ready to meet her partner in crime. And here she is. Here is our anti-bug. Oh my goodness, look at her. So we made quite a number of mistakes with her using the Mod Podge and also adding the red dots. But in the end, we did fix everything and she looks really, really good. So she is all black with red dots all over her body in the complete opposite of Ladybug. And of course, let's go ahead and add her mask so that her outfit is complete. And here she is. Oh my goodness. She looks so, so cool. Alright everyone, and here we have it. Our first two villains, Lady Wi-Fi and Anti-Bug. So I think we should make one more villain before going back to the heroes. Let me know down below in the comment section who you want to see next. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we're making another Miraculous Ladybug custom. I know it's been a while since we made a custom, so today we're going to be making a villain. As you can see here, we haven't done many villains. So over here we have Hawk Moth, here we have Anti-Bug, and we also have Lady Wi-Fi. Over here we have a half villain. This one's a split custom with Ladybug on one side and Anti-Bug on the other side. Today I have Bunnix. And I thought it would be really fun to turn her into Cat Blanc, who is the akumatized version of Cat Noir. And so as you can see here, I've done a few customs that's related to Cat Noir. Over here we have Lady Noir, who is Marionette transformed as Cat Noir. Over here we have Multi Noir. And here's one of our newest ones. This is Bug Noir, who I think we're going to be seeing in the upcoming movie. And so to make this custom, I'm going to be using my paint pen. 
Since Cat Blanc is pretty white, this is going to be pretty easy. All we need is a white marker. In addition, I'll be using some Sugru for the accessories. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is remove as much of the black markings as we can using some acetone. And this is because black is harder to cover up with white. And this time I'm going to make sure to wear some gloves because I always forget and then my nails get ruined. So let's go ahead and wipe off all the stuff as much as we can. And I think some of the white's going to come off too, but that's okay. Alright, so here is the doll so far. All the black marking is gone, and now we can color the entire doll white. So let's go ahead and use the paint pen and color the entire body in white. This is going to take about three to four coats, just because white can be a little bit transparent. And I really like using these paint pens. They're super easy to use, the coverage is great, and I love that it dries glossy. So when it's done, it can look like a doll that came from a store. Another thing I love about these paint pens is that it dries really fast. So you don't have to wait too long before you start on your second coat. Let's color the mask white. Next, let's go ahead and work on the hair. So I'm going to be using some tacky glue. We're going to use the glue to push the hair back. We're also going to paint the hair white. While we wait for the paint to dry, let's go ahead and get some Sugru. This is moldable glue and we're going to make the accessories. So we're going to do, so we're going to take one of these and we're going to make the ears, make the belt and also make the bell. So Sugru is really cool. It is a type of glue that acts like clay. And what's nice about it is that it air dries and it is flexible after it's cured. So let's start with the simple one, which would be the bell. Just gonna take a lump here and roll it into a ball. Okay, once we have the round ball, we're gonna cut a little slit here for the bell part. All right, so here's our bell. Let's set it aside to cure. Next, we're gonna take two pieces and Turn them into ears. I'm going to roll them into a ball first. And then make them into triangles. Okay, so here are the two ears. Now for his baton, we're going to make a short staff. So it looks like this. And the last item is going to be a belt. So I'm going to take this last piece here and we're going to stretch it out. Once we have the desired length, I'm going to flatten it out. Now I'm going to carefully pick it up and wrap it around the waist. And right now, we can shape it to the way we want it to look when it's cured. Now we're going to give it about 12 hours to cure. Once the pieces are cured, let's go ahead and paint it white. And let's go ahead and add the final touch, the mask. Oh my goodness, this is actually pretty cool. I really like the way she looks. 
She has a white mask on with black lining where the eyes are. Her hair is painted mostly white, even though you can still kind of see a little bit of the blue underneath. And she, of course, has cat ears. Her outfit is fully white from top to bottom. Everything about it is white. She has a little bell here around her neck and here in the back. She has her staff that is glued to the back and she also has that really long tail. So that flat leathery tail that can be used as a weapon. So one thing that was interesting about doing this custom is that even though I gave this doll four to five coats of white paint, I still feel like I can see a little bit of the blue underneath. I don't know if it really is a blue or if it's just a reflection from the white. But other than that, this was a fairly easy custom. So what do you think? Do you like her? Let me know down below in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Bye!